This is Dubious Code, and this uh, video is about slices in Python. Um, so slices in Python are fun. I like them. I don't know, you know, exactly when you need them. Not not the complicated versions, but I've used the simple versions a lot. But when you need them, you need them. So to slice a slice of something is a part of it. So here I have here I have a list, and I've numbered, I've added elements, and the elements, the values are the same as the index. So element number four is index number four. Um, let's say I want to take make another list with part of that list. The easiest way to do that in Python is with a slice. So a slice, we use one or two colons to make the slice. And a slice has, um, would be the first colon, the first element, the first index in the slice is start, or the first thing you put in the slice is start, and then end, and then step. So here, if I wanted to get everything in the list, I could go start at zero, then I go to list uh, lang of list one, you go through the length. And once again, like everything else in Python, this goes to it, but not through it. So this would go, because this is of size 10, it would get element nine, because we're zero base index. So I could print this two. And now list two basically is a, um, list two is not defined. Oh. Now list two is a copy, basically a copy of list one, and it is in fact a shallow copy. Uh, that's not so important for these uh, integers, but it does matter for some things where you pass in uh, like objects. Now this one was actually more complicated than what I needed to do. If I don't put in a value, let's say I don't put in the ending of it, it assumes it goes all the way to the end. So here I could go from zero all the way to the end, and I get the same thing, the full list. And once, just like that, if I don't put in a beginning value or a start, it assumes it starts at the beginning. So this is a full list, and I do it with a single uh, colon. I could also add a step in there. So if I add a step, let's say I wanted to get every other value, I'm omitting the start, I'm omitting the end, so it's gonna start at the beginning and go through the end, and I'll get every other value. And so list two will be just even values because the even values are at every other one. You know, I could put in get every third value and get every third value. Uh, if I wanted to get a subset, let's say I wanted to get one through six, I could start at one. Uh, because I want the index six, I would put a seven in here. and get one through six. Let's say I wanted to get, um, start at index, start at the beginning and get everything up through the second to last one. So I wanted to get, I wanted to get zero through seven. I'm allowed to put negative numbers in to a list to retrieve a value. So negative one would exclude the nine. The negative two here would exclude the eight and the nine. And here's a couple of fun things. You can actually step with a negative number. So start at beginning, go through the end, step negative one. This is effectively the same as a list reverse. So I'm gonna get nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I could step negative two and I could get every other value reverse. So that should give me nine, seven, all the odd numbers. Um, let's see what else. That is most of it. The, you know, the tricks on this is, remember zero base index. We have our start, stop, and end. We go up to the end, but not including it. So if I wanted to get this ninth value, 
And if I wanted to get the sixth value, I have to go through index, I have to put a seven in there. Um, we can use steps, negative, and we can use negative numbers. Yeah, list slices are pretty interesting. Um, and if you ever get to them, if you ever uh, need to know it, then the list slice is a shallow copy. Uh, it's pretty important. It can make for some weird bugs, so you should be aware that it's a shallow copy. Thank you. This is Dubious Code.